This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive in it. It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what brand new defense I'm using, results like this. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Multiple D defensive ebook. I'm also going to be using a brand new San Francisco 49ers offensive ebook, but I'm going to try a new style of video today where I show only the defensive plays. And that's because I'm using a brand new offense and defense in this video, and I want to save what I'm doing on the offensive side for my video tomorrow. And I don't want this video to go too long, so mark your calendars for tomorrow because I'm straight up destroying people with these brand new schemes. If you guys want more help or more money plays right now, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top end comment with all these big games the eagles are playing right now with dallas coming up and the niners just passing you know i had to rep my birds once again and in today's gameplay i get a shot of revenge against what's probably the best team in the nfl right now in those very same 49ers In my last gameplay video, I used a new defense in the Dime Normal as I want to show off some of these smaller, more situational pass defenses. And the defense I'm going to show you guys today is pretty similar in the small quarter normal defense, as both of these defenses can stop the run and pass, but not if your opponent decides to bulk up too heavy and dedicate themselves to running it, like the 49ers typically like to do. So keep that in mind. When I say this formation can stop the run, it's purely based on whether or not your personnel matches the offense that your opponent is running. If they're in a gun or anything through wide receiver or more, I can stop the run with this. For my coaching adjustments, the two most important things are to set your zone coverage to match, as I'll be using a matching zone concept a lot today, and I will also set my auto alignment to base so that my defenses will look the same pre-snap, making it harder for my opponent to see what I'm doing. The best plays I like to use for my audible plays are cover two man, which is something that I kind of use like a deep pass defense, almost like a prevent. The under smoke, which is my best blitz, and the outside blitzing cornerbacks also make this a pretty good outside run defense, but I'll go over that play more next week in my next defensive video. Today's video is going to be all about the cover for a drop. This is probably my best base defense, as it's probably my best against run and pass in this formation. To give myself the best run defense possible, I will always pinch my defensive line, which is deep pad to the left and down, in hopes of closing up the middle run lanes and forcing the running back to go laterally. And I will also bring my safeties down to the box so that they can get into the action quicker, both as a run defender and a pass defender, as they will be the MVP of this defense. The reason cover four is the best run defense in the game is because the safeties will play the run first as long as they don't guess pass, meaning that they'll walk down on the box and try to make plays like extra linebackers but of course the size disadvantage that i have allows mccaffrey to turn a five yard run to a nine yard run as he gets a huge fall forward animation and almost gets the first down <laughs> so on the very next play when i see he's in a three tight end set again i switch defenses to my three four odd to mad size this is the reality of smaller defenses in madden 24 as strength ratings of players do matter on third and one though it really doesn't matter what defense i called as i run commit and give up a huge play but at least i kept him out of the end zone I stuffed around the next play, but of course being in a larger defense makes you more susceptible to the pass as he gets a big pass on the next play to get into the deep red zone, which is where I would normally come out in a larger defense anyways to prevent easy running plays, as we push him back to a third and goal from the 14, making this an obvious passing situation and allowing me to get back to the formation that today's video is about in the quarter normal. He comes out in an eye form look on the next play. My opponent though doesn't sound like he is going to run, as all he's been doing is complaining about Chris McCaffrey since I pushed him back on the last play. I mean, he is the best running back Madden has to offer, bro, so maybe it's just you. On this play, since the receivers are in tight, and pretty much any tight look, I will always base the line to bring the cornerbacks closer, which is something that I will do quite often throughout this video. From 14 yards out, he runs my double speed out play, and if he got this from watching my channel, he would most likely know that this will only get about 8 to 12 yards at most. So he holds the ball looking for the tight end instead, before rolling out to buy time and panic throwing into the middle of the field. How about new?
So just kick the fucking field goal already and shut up. On offense, I'll be using a brand new scheme out of the single back tight way off, but I really want to break this offense down tomorrow so I can give it the full attention that it deserves. So I'm not going to be showing much today, but I get all the way down the field before my drive stalls on fourth and three, and I decide to run it since there is a huge run lane right in front of me that closes up fast. <laughs> He comes out and single back once again, but since he has to go the length of the field this time, I decide to stay in the quarter normal cover for drop. Only this time, since he has no receivers split out wide, I will pinch my entire defense, which is RB or R1 and down the right stick. And this will bring the quarterbacks down, also allowing them to help out faster and run support to the edge. As we get a somewhat lucky leg tackle animation for the stop. I do it again on the next play expecting run once again and I shoot the gap this time and I think he sees me because he scrambles for his life but this ain't Mike Vick bro. <laughs> on offense we don't have the ball long either as I want to shut this loud mouth up and it only takes me two plays to take the lead. Fuck you! And now that I have the lead my opponent switches to gun for the first time this game meaning that I can run quarter normal to match and stay in this defense for what is most likely going to be pass plays from here on. I still pinch my defensive line to start as he does have two tight ends on the field, but he can really only run in one direction since the running back has to cross the quarterback for a handoff, so I decide to shift my line in that direction instead, as this will give me better run defense in the most likely direction of travel. On his first play though, he tries a double drags concept and I see it right away. I know that my help is on the right side and since Kittle is coming my way, I will use an old school technique that I call route rubbing, where I run into the route before it crosses five yards and I absolutely body him, completely knocking him off his route. He didn't stop running, bro. I stopped him. Back on defense now up two scores that both came on defense, by the way. And with under two minutes left before the half, it's pretty safe bet that he's going to pass. So he hikes the ball while I'm still trying to get everyone into place. And he gets a big first down over the middle of the field. But at least he is getting comfortable in gun sets. And even though I know he's going to pass, I switch back to my cup for match and bring the safeties down once again so they can get into the throwing lanes much faster and help out. As I use the exact same setup with his defense, whether it's run or pass, and he barely completes the next pass. He hurries me up on the next play. And I decide to switch to cover two man as I just want to mix up my coverages every once in a while so I don't get too predictable. And he goes right back to that man beating route over the middle and my linebacker was just a little too slow to get there. He hurries me up once again and I switch back to the cover for match but I don't have enough time to bring the safeties down. The only adjustment that I do get in that I didn't make last time was to base a line which I said earlier is something I like to do when the receivers are close to the line of scrimmage as this will bring the defenders closer to their assignments pre-snap. And he tries to go right back to that same wheel route since it worked last Last time, gotcha, bitch. only this time Maddox beats him to it because I brought him closer to the line of scrimmage, and we have our third defensive score of the half, all of which came from this exact same cover four match play. I get ball to start the second half also, and I'm going for the juggler, as I am past passing just to try to win the game, as I'm now trying to force a rage quit. And my defense is playing lights out, as he really only scored one time because I ran commit at the wrong time. I get him to a fourth and second from his own side of the field, and he barely picks it up, but he can't get anything going in the pass game, as this secondary is just clamping down on his crossing routes, forcing him to try to run on a third and ten, and getting pushed backwards to a fourth and sixteen that he has to go for, I guess. I mean, not like it really matters at this point. From here, if you want to improve your pass rush in obvious passing situations, just guess pass and spread the defensive line instead of pinching them, which I barely get a chance to do in the last second before he hikes the ball and I get a big shed sack from Jalen Carter to get the ball inside the red zone before easily punching it in two plays later. He is clearly annoyed but he just won't leave so we switch to the under smoke to try to get a rage quit that way as we're now going to blitz every single play. He tries another toss play before Reddick blows it up again before Purdy is running for his life once again in the end zone. And I get my fourth defensive score of the game. If you want to see more about that blitz next week, make sure to be a subscriber. And I got to be honest, I played this game Sunday morning before the Niners game. So at this point, I was really thinking we were going to blow the Niners out. So if this guy was really a Niners fan, he got the last laugh at the end of the day. If you guys want to see more about the offense that I was running today in this video, I did put out a full breakdown that is very similar. So I'll have that popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. If you just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.